Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be carrying on with porting the cylinder head. Now, I've took it to work, I've took the valves out, I've cleaned it, I've uh, realised it needs valve stem seals, so that'll be in uh, in a future video because I've got to order them. And uh, yeah, today we're just going to be doing a bit of dremeling. It's probably going to be a little bit of just silence video because I, I can't really talk over the noise in the machine. I don't want to just bore you with just endless minutes or half hour or an hour or however long it takes for me to port it. So there'll be a bit of a clip, some photos inlaid so you can see the difference between the before and after and probably a little bit of explanation that will go on to show what happens with enhancing so, port see, size, I've got the port valve shape there. I have been playing with the Dremel flight. a little bit on the inlet side um, main thing what we're going to do is take any harsh steps out uh, in transfer of flow so coming through here we can uh, get that to focus we want that to be as smooth as possible through there uh, flow wise and still want this sort of this sort of texture going through it so we'll crack on we've got the measurements that we need and uh, we'll get the hopefully we'll get both sides done but we're going to concentrate on the, on the, the inlet side, on the side of this. Uh, I'm going to insert some photos of the before and after and what I'm removing hopefully you'll be able to see the difference um, essentially we're just trying to take out nasty casting marks and any obstructions um, that would cause restricted flow. Uh, the reason I'm going to insert the photos because the camera I've got won't quite focus in there properly and I don't want to risk putting it in there when I've got the Dremel tool in there as well. Right, I thought I'd take this opportunity to try and explain a little bit more about what we're doing with the porting. Now it's easier for me to draw a very crude drawing um, to make things easier to understand. Essentially, stock ports are very angular inside and the casting is very rough. So what we want to do, as you see, this is meant to be the valves, top of the cylinder and down into the bore. Um, what we want to do is smooth these out by and also increasing the size of the porting to allow this and smoothing out those casting marks that are in there so what we want to do is now where I've marked in red is essentially where we've taken material out of the cylinder head it's smoothed the, fl the flow going through the ports which allows more air and more fuel to go in at once we can also, by increasing this port size, we can use different uh, or larger, I should say, inlet manifolds and bigger carburettors. And then on the exhaust size, that allows us to increase the size of our header uh, and overall exhaust tube diameter through the system. So, what we want to make sure is that we don't take too much material out. Obviously, up the top is quite risky around these valves, uh, around the valve stems coming down to the valve seats and the same on the exhaust side so the inlet side is done uh, there'll be a photo laid in after this and uh, that should show the difference between how we started and to where we finished and essentially we're just going to repeat the same on the exhaust So, once these things are done, we've got a bigger inlet manifold, we've got a bigger carburetor, we've got a bigger exhaust header and system, we go on to a very simple uh, formula, which is, get more air, plus more fuel, equals power. Now, I know I'm not saying it correctly as the term abbreviates, but I'm sure that 
all of you are quite familiar with Mr. Jeremy Clarkson. Look at him. Lazy sod. Squish, come here. Come on. Not interested in the slightest. Squish! Come on! Come on! <laughs> so then guys, we've got the inlet done. I've made a start on the exhaust port, but it's the same principle. I'm not going to bore you by putting like a good hour's worth of footage of me just using a Dremel tool in there. The photos pretty much equal up the same as they do for the inlet. Um, the next step that we've got is to clean up the valves that were out of it, measure them up and seat them in. Once we reseat the valves, we'll use a grinding paste and they'll be in there nice and flush and we'll make sure that they're nice and airtight and then we'll be fitting the springs, collets and new valve guides. So that's all for this video. Porting's pretty much done. Um, like I say, we'll be fitting the valves in on the next video and then we'll be moving on to the bottom end. So what I've decided is we're going to use a 150cc barrel instead of the standard 125 and then we'll make some alterations to what's happening on in the heart of the engine. Sorry if I keep looking down so the engine's on the floor and I keep looking at it when I'm speaking to it. It's there. Honest. See? So once we get into that we'll start taking the gearbox apart, we'll take the crank out and everything else that goes with it and we'll start doing some little bits and pieces like polishing the gears and lightening the gears down making sure that the friction reduction is reduced friction reduction is reduced? well, closing the title, we'll make sure that the friction is reduced by applying friction reduction there we go, that's pretty easy well, in my head it was easy, it wasn't easy to say so, we'll do that and then we'll have to get the gaskets etc and then I'll show you rebuilding the engine um, actually, no, when we do that Obviously, I'll show you the stages of cladding, and then um, we'll go from there and we'll get it running. Obviously, I have to rebuild it to get it running, um, but then I can stick it in the bike that I've got at the front. Cause it's plug in and play. We might play with ignition systems. I think ignition system might be a fun one. Get a light and flywheel on it, make it rev up really quick. You never know. Yep, so that's it for this video. Uh, I know it's a little bit different and probably not as involved as some other videos can be, but uh, it's, it's something I want to do, just get back into the swing of things, like I said in the last video. Um, I appreciate feedback, if you manage to say, uh, you know, get in the comments. If there's something you think I can do better, just let me know. If there's something that you think, that well, if you think this whole thing's bollocks, just let me know. I'm still going to do it, but at least I know some of you think it's bollocks. Um, so, yeah, until then, we'll see you in the next video.